So we're just gonna run yep. to the center Top. and kill ourselves. Yep. Here we go. All right, here we go for the first match. All right, can you tell Sir? us a little bit about the characters and what kind of builds they have? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Grindcor is a acrobatics ranger. Um, and he uses the sword penetration nodes. Now these nodes are actually getting removed in 1.2, so that's quite a big, uh, big change for PvP. Uh, but like I said, he's undefeated, so you're gonna see Grandcore playing some top level play. His gear is outstanding, and there he goes taking the first kill already. Using um, whirling blades. Yeah, very, uh, very good use of whirling blades. And um, his gear is really outstanding. He's one of the people in PvP that has the highest level of gear. Um, so uh, he's really hard to play against. You have to have, bring in a lot of skill, not just gear, against him. So here you're seeing players tend to use Temp Chains for uh, PvP. It's really strong, lowers your movement, lowers your attack speed and cast speed. Um, so you have to really manage your potions quite well. So how many how many Curse Immunity pots do people usually run? Because you, you would need a lot of them. All right, we're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris immunity pots are huge. Um, the thing is, it Destroy. makes you invincible. To, <laughs> it makes you invincible to um, to curses. Uh, but then you use the, you lose the charge. So a lot of times, people will actually try to curse the enemy to get them to use their pots, mm -hmm. and then and then Draw the person doesn't the have the pot. Exactly, exactly. It's really a, a game of attrition. Um, and you're gonna see that a lot here. Um, also, you can, see, the... you can see the other player using uh, Anime Guardian. What's that? Yeah, so your Anime Guardian actually uh, respawns. He doesn't die permanently, um, but he only respawns once per round. So players have used it in a clever way where you're able to have your uh, Anime Guardian give you benefits. I'm thinking like Leer Cast, Dying Breath. These are uniques that increase your damage as an aura. So um, you'll, you'll see people using that. You kind of have to eliminate the Guardian, but at the same time, he sort of shifts your focus away from the enemy. So it's a clever way of using it. Oh, wow. So the so here. First point. He's using uh, Trap Fireball. Yeah, he's got all types of traps. I think he's also got a Freeze Pulse one, which is quite potent. Um, so what he's trying to do here is um, he's placing his traps with his uh, Rejuve Totem. And the point for that is because if Grindcore flickers on to, um, to Draxu with uh, Multi-Strike, there's mm -hmm. a chance he'll land on the Totem and therefore land on a trap. So a very clever use of the Totem right there. And then here we can see uh, Grindcore using Arc. Arc has the unique property where it actually breaks traps. So uh, Grindcore will... Uh, move up, trying to, you know, tread carefully, uh, using Arc as much as he can to approach Draxu. So Neuvis is really playing, uh, playing the terrain here, trying to get himself in a corner and get down the traps so that he can force Grandcore to run into them. He cannot engage without going through the traps. Exactly. Um, they also keep in mind that. Um, the uh, certain trappers like to use the node that increases the trigger radius. So even though you do see where the person puts a trap, um, you know you might still walk over it if they have trigger radius. Um, some traps are also indestructible for a few seconds after being put down on the ground. So um, I, I don't know the specifics of his build. A lot of PvPers don't like to share it because if it's working, hell, why would you why would you tell everyone about it? You know. So I'm not quite sure if he has those nodes, but um, that's something you'll see, commonly see in PvP. You can see here that he's using Warring Blades really effectively. He, when he triggers the traps, not all the projectiles hit him because he's moving too fast. You can see him hit a fireball trap there and only one projectile hit him because he's just he's gone as soon as he triggers it. That's right. I mean, in PvP you have spell dodge, you have dodge, you have evasion. But then if your movement skill also makes you um, dodge the projectile, then that's just another kind of defense. So Grand right. taking this one pretty easily. Um, we're gonna see what uh, Draxu does. He might be able to do some gear swaps, um, maybe um, gear himself differently, use different pots as well uh, to try and um, to try and beat Grandcore in the next round. So Grandcore seemed to just overpower him with the sheer amount of damage he has. Um, maybe he should bring some more granites, but I don't know. He, he's using traps. It's very very uh, static gameplay, and he just has to 
get Grindcore into his base that he sets up, I don't know. It's gonna be hard for him to uh, change it up, I think. Yeah, um, it's it's quite hard. Um, he has to keep using that totem disadvantage. Yeah. As you can see, uh, we didn't see Grindcore flicker too much. Flicker Strike is probably on his hotbar, uh, especially when someone uses Frenzy Charges. You bypass the cooldown. Um, so uh, the reason why he's not using Flicker too much is because he knows it's a trap. Whirling Blades will proc the traps, but not necessarily um, uh, get hit by the projectile. So uh, clever use of Whirling Blades there rather than Flicker. Alright, we are ready to go for the second round out of out of the best of tree. Yeah, so we're gonna swap gateways now. Alright. Jaxu is a European player, if I'm not mistaken. So um just for the sake of desync, desync is an issue in PoE. Uh, thankfully it's not always that bad in PvP because there's less obstacles, less monsters that can desync you, so uh, but just for the sake of players we like to swap the gateway. Round one. So we'll see what uh, Jaxu comes up with for this plan. This map is a little bit bigger, so we might see Jaxu actually kind of uh, bunker down, put some traps, um, but it is quite open. There's not too much... Um, chokes? You know, like these chokes, exactly, and, and these pillars are uh, are not not much, so uh, Grandcore is going to have an easy time arcing the traps. So nice. the Rejuve Totem doing great work right there. Stopping uh, Grandcore from using Flicker too much. Oh wow! Yep. Round two. Yeah. This... Jax, who's, uh, it's it's really hard to land a trap on a Whirling Blades character. I feel like this is bad map RNG. Yeah, I do feel like the, uh, both maps so far have worked in Grandcore's favor. But maybe if Draxu moves to the top top of the map, there seems like there is a better choke point there. That's true, but he's um he's also taking a risk. By the time he gets there, he might not have time to put as many traps down. Um, Grandcore might pick up on that and um, go Whirling Blades in really fast. Oh, wow! The Fireball really Trash good. just doing great damage! I think Jaxu's picking up on uh, what he's got to do. Really got to stack those uh, traps in an, a clever place. Move cleverly as well to make him um, question where the traps might be. Grindcore just, just trying to kill. slowly get into his base here with Ark. Does Keep stop. in mind that um, Grindcore might also be using a Stone of Lazwar, which gives him... Um, Ooh, oh! Chance! Oh, we might see it. Oh, oh he clutches it out. Damn! Now that was a close one. That was clutch. Well played by Novus. I, f I really feel like Novus is getting better and better. He's picking up the matchup. It's mind you, it's not an easy matchup. Grindcore, as a, as we said earlier, is actually undefeated in the ladder right now. Alright, he seems to favor the top corner here of the map. Uh, Grindcore might not has have as much vision. Using the rejuve here, and when he kills the when he kills the guardian. Grindcore gets max frenzy charges and he can jump in with his flicker strike if he wants to. There we go. And there's the first skill for Jaxu. That's right, so you bring up a good point, which is um, the gloves, uh, Shackle of the Wretched, which are yes. gloves that were made by Aguda. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, they're they're kind of just for Immortal Call, they don't have much purpose. But in LLD, if you put it on your anime guardian and he dies, he gives them uh, frenzy charges, which allows you to then flicker uh, many, many times by passing the cooldown. So another very clever use of the anime guardian. I feel like Draxu has slowed down the pace uh, of the fight and made Grandcore go slow. Uh, I, I know Grandcore being a player that likes to rush a lot. And you see here, he's trying to utilize his Spectral Throw instead and outrange him. A little bit of bad that's, positioning by Draxu. That's very insurance in um, what you were saying about him being a very aggressive player. I've never seen Grindcore so defensive uh, in this tournament. Mind you that um, although uh, Grindcore's Spectral Throw does less damage than his main skill, yes. um, it is significant damage. You don't want to be standing there, it'll maybe uh, force you to use a potion, and then you know, you're playing the attrition game, so uh, don't get hit. <laughs> so we see him now using a two-hander sword. He swaps uh, between his offhand all the time, trying to get to uh, Draxu and maybe get him uh, to use a couple pots. 
And now we're watching uh, Grancor heal up a little bit using the Rejuve Totem. Draxu doing just the same. Doesn't want to waste any charges here. Oh, oh wow. That was close. Uh, Noivez is a really slow character, almost no movement speed. Can't really chase after Grand Cole using the Whirling Blades. That's right, and uh, Jaxu probably really disappointed he couldn't clutch out that kill there. Um, he's going to have a hard time bringing it back in this tournament. Is Grand Cole just using the Rejuve now, just not using charges? Slowly healing up, or...? That's right, uh, using a potion is giving up uh, possible curse immunity, um, and using and uh, the ability to use it while you're in close combat. So using the Rejuve Totem is kind of like using a pot, uh, but without having to actually use it. Because charges are very limited. Uh, you actually get a bit of charges every round, and you get more charges if you get the, clear, the kill. So, um, you know, tr really trying to be conservative with the charges is yeah. quite important. I felt like, that, felt like that was good play by Draxu. He saw that Grand Core was Spectral throwing, not having great attack speed. He could just sidestep it and throw a trap while he was in animation. Great play. Yeah, and we're, we're seeing players really slow it down. Uh, mind you, Grindcore does have a huge advantage here because he's winning by two points. So he's going to play it really defensive using that spectral throw, not approaching. Round six. All right, we got our first Fight. draw round here. We, we saw a little bit of Draxu trying to uh, get him in closer, trying to play some traps, you know, turn around the corner, throw a trap, try to be Kill somewhat yourself. aggressive. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we're, we're stealing time from them here. So. Right, that's true. That's yeah. True. There we go. I get into the fight too much, I think. <laughs> yes. So is it, is it, yeah, Draxu is using clarity on his life here with blood magic. Yeah, uh, you can use um, Clarity Blood Magic com um, combo to uh, get yourself to low life. Oh no. Sometimes do some more damage. Yeah, he got him without any defenses up. Yep. I don't think Jackson was ready there. No. So, is he using the Blood Magic gem on the Clarity? Because it seems like it's taking like a good 15% of his life here. Do you think it's worth it? Well, you know, um, I think what he might be doing is um, trying to blood magic clarity his life and then throw a trap, and then he can choose to keep it on or off. And I think the trap keeps the property. Mm -hmm. That's something I have no experience with, but I think he might uh, have realized that it actually does increase his damage significantly. Landing a nice bear trap there. Oh, nice. Ensuring he gets some peace and can heal up. Grindcore has nothing to do up here now. So Grandcore is going to be healing. Um, I think that was a good time for Jaxu to be approaching. Uh, if The more he mm. waits it out, the longer the game's going to be and harder for him, him to be. Yeah, Draxus is uh, full life. He's trying to inch his way out and just get some information. But again, the map is really, really hard for um, for Draxu here. It's not in his favor at all. I uh, caught him in the open. Caught him reaching. Caught him reaching. <laughs> All right. So the the first round goes to uh, Grand Core. It's best out of three. Best of five, rather. Oh, best so, out of five. Yeah. The there first person go. to get three wins is uh, is how it works. So we have one more match, um, and if Jaxu wins, then it'll extend it. Ah. All right. Let's see. So the players have 60 seconds in between matches to change items and uh, make those small tweaks to ensure that they're gonna have an edge or uh, maybe win the next fight. That's right, I can guarantee you the players will be looking at their gear. Even Grindcore, I know him quite well. Drax is ready. And we're ready too. Oh, uh, wow. Grindcore is gonna, be, is gonna be looking at his gear as well. Even though he won, he's kinda like that. Likes to improve it. So I'm going to challenge you, and we're going to go into this third game. All right, challenge me again. D&D was uh, on for a little bit. I just turned it off in the match. There we go. There we go. Loading up into the final round, possibly for Grindcore. But we see that Noivus, aka Draxu, is able to take a few rounds of uh, Grindcore. 
Grindcore changing it up and uh, playing a little bit passively when he has to. So this is a great map for Draxu. If uh, if Draxu's looking for a win now to not get eliminated from this tournament, it's going to be on this map. It has to be. Red team gains a point. So Draxu got Round caught out two. there. Um, caught him reaching again. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to reach for that uh, golden position at the very bottom. Yep. You get so much, much vision and you know exactly where your opponent's coming from. That's right, reaching that, um, that corner in the bottom is really good for trappers, but it really puts you at risk. You don't have time to bunker down, uh, and Grindcore is going to rush you there. He's not going to wait. Grindcore getting all the traps in one arc. The reason why this map is so good for trappers is because the obstacles create um, choke points where uh, you can easily place traps, but yep. Grindcore is smarter than that. He's able to arc the traps quite easily. And he is so fast with that warning blades. Even if Draxy puts down traps, Grindcore just moves around and nails him with Flicker Strike. That's right. Uh, Grindcore is able to, through his really exceptional gear, um, not only uh, be extremely fast and tanky, but also he's able to output a lot of damage. He's got the perfect balance. That character is really, really strong. And um, I'd say one of the um, scariest melees in the current meta. So Jax is doing the right thing, bunkering down. Yeah. And Grindcore just going to town on Draxu. That was a really great approach. Using Cyclone, uh, Cyclone will break traps. Uh, very smart. He's also got added life on it, uh, life gain on hit rather. Uh, and so we're going to be seeing him heal himself through the totem, through the player. Very clever use of Cyclone. Man, I remember fighting Grindcore on my low level dueler and. As I'm hitting him, he's hitting me back, and he heals more than I can damage him. He really has a life, a lot of life gain on hit. Oh yeah. I think we're really gonna see, um, we're gonna need to see rather, Draxu, um, really nuke down Grindcore and get him in either one hit or, um, you know, very fast. You can't let him alive because he'll heal up. Not looking so good here for Draxu. Not at all. In his defense, though, like I said, Grandcore is um, undefeated. He's really, really strong. Yep. These guys have played each other in the ladder. Everyone played each other at least once. Yeah, it seems like he he has to fight a war on two fronts here, no matter where he goes. Uh, the top portion here is not that bad because Grandcore has to go a long way around, uh, catches him in the open, and finishes it off. With three wins against Draxi. Yes, and that's going to knock uh, Draxi right out of the tournament. Uh, Grand Core looking really good right now. So we'll be right back. We'll just take a quick little break. Um, and uh, we'll be back for our next match.